What's up everyone? So I went to art school for my undergrad degree and in art school I learned so many things that have really shaped me as a person and as an artist. But one area that I think art school skips over entirely is business fundamentals. Currently I'm enrolled in an MBA program and in today's video I'm going to share with you the top three tips that have been widely applicable um, to me as an artist and we're going to break them down for you. Welcome to Kirsten Angerbauer Studio. Let's get into it. So tip number one, it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. It's all about your mindset with this phrase. If you are using people to get ahead and stepping on other people's you know, hopes and dreams uh, in order to be successful, I think that that is the wrong way to interpret this phrase. What this means to me is that we really all have to be building genuine relationships that sustain over time. What are some actionable strategies for that? So the first strategy is to seek symbiotic connections. You really wanna seek out connections where um, both parties can benefit. It is a two-way street and there's a give and take. The second action strategy for kind of building genuine relationships is to play the long game. Sometimes a connection is made now that may not ever come into play till years down the line. So tip number two that I've been learning in MBA school is be your own biggest stakeholder. So to me, being my own biggest stakeholder means that um, all of my actions and values and, and decisions and priorities are all kind of in line with um, my artistic pursuits and dreams and like the end goals that I have in mind. What are some action strategies to be your own biggest stakeholder? Um, the first one is dedicate time to your practice, um, regular, consistent and focused time. I think time is one of the most valuable resources that all of us have. The second action strategy that you need to be your own biggest stakeholder is um, to invest in yourself. Uh, similar to making time for yourself, investing in yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually is going to you know, pay so many dividends in the long run. And it's going to maintain you know, your spirit and your sense of self. And um, you know, that has to be solid in order for you know, things to succeed and things to work. The third action strategy to be your own biggest stakeholder is to not compromise your values in the face of conflict. I think by having a value system, uh, you really do kind of have a compass for making decisions. And frankly, that is what somebody who has their own best interests in heart, somebody who is their own biggest stakeholder, that is how they would think. Business tip number three for artists is to identify your own unique value proposition. What is it that only you can do? What is it that sets you apart from everybody else? In finding that, I believe you also kind of find um, maybe your kind of North Star as an artist. That you kind of find this um, draw, that this drive that really pulls you through and can guide you um, down the paths that you were meant to go down all along. What are some action strategies for artists to kind of apply and develop a unique value proposition? So the first one that I thought of is to embrace radical self-promotion and radical sharing. Our own unique value proposition is it resides within being yourself, not trying to replicate the work of others. I 100% believe that self-promotion is not selling out. In fact, I did an entire video essay about that very idea. So if you want, go ahead and check it out here. I'll put the link in the video and also down in the description. So in conclusion, those are my top three tips for artists from MBA school. Let me know what resonated with you in the comments. Additionally, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It would certainly mean a lot. And also subscribe to my newsletter. The first 100 people to subscribe are gonna get a free digital gift from my studio directly to your device that you are not gonna wanna miss. So all of those links and more are down in the description below. In the meantime, stay safe, make beautiful things, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, also, I'm gonna show you a little sneak preview of this. I made this cedar table. 
stay tuned for the next week's video where I um, literally break down the entire process of building that table. I can't wait to share it with you because I had so much fun. So um, yeah, see you guys later. Bye.